do you actually need Elementor Pro if you have the full package of CrocoBlock? That's the question that I'm gonna answer in this video. As you guys know, my workflow exists of using Elementor, Adobe XD and CrocoBlock. CrocoBlock runs on top of Elementor. And since I have made this video, which a lot of you saw, you guys also started to realize, and I also started to realize, how powerful CrocoBlock is. And if you've dug a little bit deeper, you've also seen that CrocoBlock has some features that Elementor Pro has. So the question that came up is, do you actually need Elementor Pro? Can you just keep buying it? Can you cancel your subscription? And when I started this journey, I thought that it was not possible. I thought that having Elementor Pro was mandatory to use CrocoBlock. But it's not true. You can use it without Elementor Pro. So what I've done is I've tried to build a full website of a website project I already had, which is that real estate website, which you can see right now in the screen. I already had that project. I was like, let's do that. Let's test it and let's see where the limitations are so you don't have to go through that pain. And before you're going to skip to the end of the video, let me give you the short answer here. Yes, in theory, it is possible to skip Elementor Pro. Is it nice? No, because you're missing out on a few features and the workflow is much more complicated. And I think for most people, it's better to just start with Elementor Pro and then later upgrade to CrocoBlock when the timing is right. Let me explain why. Let's first start why you would even want Elementor Pro compared to free. The main selling point of Elementor Pro is that you will get access to the Theme Builder. And CrocoBlock also has this Theme Builder. So if you've installed CrocoBlock, you also have the Theme Builder over here. If you want more Pro widgets, they also have a solution. It's called Jet Elements. If you want to create a menu for your header template, you can install Jet Menu. The pop-up, which is part of Elementor Pro, is also here. You can install that. So now we've answered the question, right? Well, no. I found a few features which are not part of CrocoBlock which you may want to use. For example, custom fonts. With Elementor Pro, you can have custom fonts. As you can see on this test website, it's not available. Sometimes your client just has a different font, which is not part of Google Fonts, which is the font package that Elementor uses. And you can't really say no to a client that has a different font. The role manager, also a really important thing. So what this is, is that, for example, you can make a WordPress user for your client, which is not the admin, but it's an editor. And what happens a lot of times is that your clients are very slow in delivering the content for the website. So what you want to do is you want to deliver the website and say like, hey, now the website is done. I want to get paid and you have all the time in the world to fill in the content. So you don't have to wait for them to finish the content and you can get your money. Otherwise, you can wait for months and not receive any money, right? So I call this content ready websites. When the website is content ready, so for them to fill in the content, then my work is done and I wanna get paid, right? But with the free version, you can only have this option, no access to editor. So this means that your client doesn't even have access to, to the Elementor editor. But what you want is in a pro website like this, you wanna have this feature. This means that if your clients tries to switch a column, delete a column, add any new items, that that is limited. It's not possible. The only thing that they can do is replace images and replace texts and titles and maybe links in buttons. And that's it. And that's what you want because you don't want your client to mess with your design. So this for me would also be a very important reason to just stay with Elementor Pro. And of course, there are also some differences in widgets. For example, the form widget in Elementor Pro is pretty nice right now. You can do steps, which is pretty cool. And of course, there are some more differences with other widgets. But for me, the main reason why I don't wanna skip Elementor Pro is because CrocoBlock, to be really honest with you, just works a little bit clunky. The workflow is not so nice. And it's, it also takes a lot of education to get started. I have a few examples which I think are pretty good. Okay, first of all, let's say that you wanna have a contact page and you don't have Elementor Pro, you just have CrocoBlock. What are you gonna do when you are new to CrocoBlock? Where are you gonna find that form? Well, in Elementor Pro, it was just a widget, right? So the widgets are part of, which you also need to know, Jet Elements because with Jet Element, you will get a lot of widgets. As they say, must have widgets. 
or what is elements, right? Maybe they should call it widget to make it easier. I don't know. But how do you know that the form is part of this? Well, actually, it's not part of this. It's part of Jet Engine. With Jet Engine, there is a form builder here. But they advertise Jet Engine, and that's also what it is. It's for dynamic content. You can create custom post types, you can create taxonomies, you can create listing templates, you can create all kinds of cool things for dynamic websites. So, for example, for this website that I have right here, this was almost all created with Jet Engine. Here is Jet Filters. Well, that makes sense because these are filters, right? But why is the normal contact form part of Jet Engine? You have to know that. So, before you can use it, you have to watch a lot of tutorials, right? I, I found that out because I make a lot of videos about it. But when you're in a deadline, you don't have that time. Another example, if you want to create a menu, well, you think you're done because in Elementor Pro, you can just go to the theme builder. You just go to header, you create a header and inside of your header, you can load in a WordPress menu, right? But that's not how it works. You will need Jet Menu for that. Makes sense, but you have to know it. Another example, which I think is a huge one. If you want to create a blog, what do you do? Well, let's see what kind of products they have. Oh, over here, JetBlog, let's see what it is. So you think you're gonna install JetBlog and you will be able to create a blog. But if you wanna create a blog and have all the custom fields that you want and maybe make it a little bit more dynamic, you will need JetEngine also to create your listing templates or one of these tiles. But with JetBlog, you will get more tiles designs. So it's more like an add-on for JetEngine inside of the theme builder, which you're going to use to create a single post template. I mean, you see what I mean? <laughs> you have to understand all of these connections in order to create something simple. And then if you want to create a custom grid that is not part of these design options over here, you will have to use a plugin called Jet Grid Builder. Because with this plugin, you can create different post and terms grids, which is super cool that it's possible, but you have to know it. Let's say that you want a different WooCommerce experience. You think you can't miss when you have Jet Woo Builder. And there are a lot of widgets in here, which are pretty nice. You can create a pretty cool single post template. But what if you want to have a different layout for this? What if you want to have this layout? There's a separate plugin for this. It's called Jet Product Gallery. So with this plugin, you can have different kind of galleries for WooCommerce. How do you know? Because you think uh, Woo Builder is all there is. I thought that for a very long time. So I searched within the Woo Builder what was possible. But then there are more options in another plugin. How do I know? And, and this just starts to get a little bit frustrating. And I mean, I get it from their point of view. You don't want to have all the features in one plugin for speed purposes. I think that's why they did this to separate everything in different plugins. So you just install what you're going to use. But how do you know? You need a whole education to know this. And I don't even know everything, even though I spend every single day creating tutorials for you guys and finding new features. So if it's already so hard for me, it's gonna be so much harder for a lot of people who just wanna produce websites and have to deal with deadlines. And what's frustrating for me is that I now find features inside of Crocoblock that I could have used perfectly on a project, but I didn't know it was there because I don't have time to go through all of the options in all of these different plugins. And even sometimes within the plugins, guys, look at this. Even within Jet Engine, so in a single plugin, sometimes you have different options to switch new features on. So that makes it even more complicated because how do I know what all of these things are? And so you have different options in each plugin which add more functionality. This is so much. So yes, is Crocoblock amazing in terms of functionality? Yes, yes, it's so much better than what you can do with Elementor Pro for the most part. But it's so hard to get your head around everything that I think for most people, it's just better to just first start with Elementor Pro. Because with Elementor Pro, everything is in one package. You install that one plugin that Elementor Pro and Elementor Free is already installed on your website. You just install Elementor Pro and you have, you have everything in one plugin. You don't have to follow a whole education, right? <laughs> to be able to build a website. And I want to say one last thing that I don't really like about Crocoblock, and that is that some plugins are a little bit clunky. For example, with WooCommerce, you have the checkout and the cart widget. 
which I have tried to use on this website, which I am creating as a test right now. So if you want to add something to the card here, this is all built with Ju uh, Jet Woo Builder, by the way. You add it to the card, you view the card. And I had so much problems with the their card widget that I ended up using the default Astra team. It's not perfect. And this will always be the case with add-ons because they're building on somebody else's land, right? Elementor is the foundation and then there's another company that builds on top of it. So it can never be perfect. And that will lead to frustration. And if you wanna get rid of frustration, well, sometimes you have to pay, <laughs> right? Again, there are a lot of features inside of Brokerblock that you need that you won't get with Elementor Pro. So what I'm saying still to this day, even after this conclusion that in theory you could skip Elementor Pro, I do not recommend it. And again, these two companies don't even probably like me making this video because this is really honest, <laughs> but this is the truth as of right now. Maybe it's different in a year from now, I hope, but as of right now, this is my honest opinion. The best ideal situation for me is if Elementor would actually start taking a look at Crocoblock and implement a few of their features in Elementor, because then we can just do everything with Elementor Pro. We're not here yet. Maybe in the future, Elementor has shown that they are pretty fast at developing new features. I have a video on my schedule that will talk about a lot of things that I don't like about Elementor Pro, so that hopefully will also show them what they could improve from my point of view. But I just wanna give you the truth. So to round this up, can you skip Elementor Pro? Yes, but do you need to spend a lot of time figuring out how Crocoblock works? Not only because it's clunky and all the different names and all the different settings, but also because it's much more complicated in terms of functionality. Before you understand Jet Engine, you are hours and hours in. And before you understand the whole plugin, you are weeks in and maybe even months. And I am not even, I don't know, maybe I'm only at 50% of what, of, of what Crocoblock is. And I already spent so much time, as you guys know, on this plugin. So. Please know if you skip Elementor Pro that it's a big sacrifice and that frustration can occur. If you wanna have a little bit nicer workflow, just pick Elementor Pro as the base and just use a few of the features of Crocoblock and just use, for example, the theme builder of Elementor Pro because it works just a little bit better. And don't forget that you're also missing out on two features, which I found maybe there are more, but custom fonts, which are important for some client projects and the role manager, which I use on almost every client project because I don't wanna wait for my clients to send me all the content. I give them the login, they can put all the content in and then I'm ready and I can get paid. And that for me is worth some money. If you wanna get started with Crocoblock, then I recommend these two videos that I made, uh, which are on the website livemorepixel.com, then click on playlist and then click on dynamic content over here. I will also put this link in the description, this introduction video on why you will need Crocoblock. So what kind of features Elementor Pro doesn't have that you probably need. And this video that explains the basics of all the new things that you need to learn in order to create dynamic websites. And then another video, which is a 45 minute video, I think, about how to create a whole real estate website. This is a great practice that you can follow if you wanna dive into this stuff. So I hope that you guys appreciate my honesty. If you wanna support my channel, make sure to always go to this page, the livefrompixels.com slash links page. You can find it over here in the menu and use the links that I provide on this page because some of the links over here are affiliate links. I make a commission, you don't pay more with Crocoblock. I even have a discount. Make sure to click on this link before you apply the discount because it only works if you use this link over here. I don't know why, but that's how it works. So if you're interested, interested in Crocoblock, make sure to check this page. I've also put that in the description. And then I wanna thank you for watching and hopefully we'll see you in the next video.